a groundbreaking battery technology and the eVTOL market equals great opportunity with Amprius technology. Hey up everyone, welcome to Martin Lucas Investor. I'm Vaz. Do you know what time it is? It's time to start talking eVTOLs. And today we would like to bring you a great business with a groundbreaking technology, which has got actually applications in the aerospace and EV tolls, namely as well. So what happened? We brought you an earnings call and we brought you, it wasn't an earnings call, it was the earnings call because one of the members requested this company and requested us to cover and bring you the earnings call. And I think this is just a great business. So let's get let's get down to the bottom of that. Under the, under the radar battery play with big aerospace potential. We covered Amprius Technologies ticker symbol AMPX during our live special on Thursday after the market close. Diving deep into their la latest earnings call and surprising product milestones. While this company may fly under the radar compared to mainstream EV battery names, its technology and partnerships are anything but small, especially for those tracking the future of aerospace and EV tolls. So what does Amprius Technologies do? You can see here a little hint in the very video, in the B-roll next to me. Amprius Technologies develops next generation lithium ion batteries using 100% silicon anodes, offering some of the highest energy and power densities in the market today. Based in Fremont, California, the company's patented silicon nano nanowire technology replaces conventional graphite, dramatically increasing, sorry, dra dramatically enhancing energy storage power delivery and fast charging performance. The company, founded in 2020, uh, 2008, publicly listed under AMPX, have two flagship, flagships of their product, the Cymax and the Cyquo. Cymax is an ultra high energy density battery optimized for top tier aerospace. Then we have Cycore, it's scalable solution with high power output and compatibility with existing manufacture lines. Industry best performance of up to 500 watt hours per kilogram and 1300 watt hours per liter of capacity. And if you bear with me, I will explain, I will compare this to the other batteries as well, including Tesla, and you will be surprised. And is designed for aerospace, defense, unmanned aerial vehicles and emerging e-mobility sectors. So here is here's a little diagram, an explanation of how the battery works. I'm not going to explain this to you. You can you can source it yourselves from the video. Performance, capacity and cost. How do they compare? So here are some numbers. Ambrius, Ambrius stands out for pushing the boundaries of performance while preparing for scale. Here's a quick breakdown. The Cymax series, energy density of up to 500 watt hours per kilogram or 1300 watt hours per liter. Their charge time from zero to 80% is less than six minutes. Wow, what a rapid recharge. And I will explain why very shortly, why this is advantage for the eVTOL and uh, aerospace market. Operating range is from zero, uh, minus 30 degrees to 55 degrees Celsius, which I believe is zero, around zero Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit up to 100, 120 degrees, something like that. So you can, you can imagine the operational region. Use cases are for long range aviation, high altitude platforms and LED drones. And the Cycle series, energy density is up to 450 watt hours per kilogram. Their discharge rate is 10 coulombs. Coulombs, am I saying that right? Built for compatibility with existing battery factories. It's cost effective entry 
entry point into premium performance segments. Compared to standard graphite based cells, the 250 to 300 watt hour per kilogram Amprius provides up to 200, uh, sorry, 2x energy density. I'm excited. I'm all excited. This is recorded on, on live show and I'm, I'm just getting excited reading this. Faster charging and less thermal management over, overhead. Ideal for weight sensitive, high performance applications. We covered their most recent second quarter earnings call on a live special with uh, Vaz. And you can see let me just put this on the screen. I'm not going to read through this, but what are the main advantages of such a battery or such battery technology? Well, we have higher energy and power. We have faster recharge, which is critical for the advanced air mobility and EV tolls. We have smaller and lighter batteries and we have fewer thermal constraints. And you can see, I don't know why they use this very aircraft model but I will get to the bottom of that. They have undisclosed partnership with one of the EV toll market leaders. Is it Joby? Is it somebody else? I don't know. I will find out. But the rapid recharge, the six minutes, less than six minutes from zero to 80%, this can be giving massive advantage for the EV toll market. So who are Amprius cooperating with? We already know that they have Undisclosed partnership with a market leading EV toll manufacturer. Exact name is under NDA, but I will find out, don't worry. But it's known to be one of the top players in the space. They also have partnership with AI Bot, they have partnership with Aero Environment, Airbus, and Alto, solar powered high altitude platforms. And I will show you actually a video of this, this very aircraft. Whoop. Let me go back to this is the very aircraft. BAE Systems and FLIR, big players on the, in the defense sector. And you can see the comparison to the conventional batteries. So you can see the Amprio C Max 450 to 500 watt hours per kilogram compared to Tesla 270 to 300 watt hours per kilogram. So that's about what? That's 50-60% more? How about that? Double the capacity of your standard lithium-ion battery. And this is some comparison of the hydrogen fuel cell and jet ale, jet A fuel, also known as kerosene. So as, as the EV toll market scales up for prototype production and the rollout, this could be a great player on the market. And we could see some great partnerships coming for Amprius technologies coming from the EV toll manufacturers. Let me know in the comments if you like the company. Don't forget to hit the like button. Here is the earnings call. Definitely go there and check their financial situation because we had some good news as well. And the stock reacted accordingly. Here are some, here are some good news contained in the earnings call. Here is video related to this content or something else. That's it for now. Take care of yourselves and